Hey, out there in YouTube land, looking good. Been a while since I've seen you. Uh, today it is charcoal making day. So let's drive over to the fire pit. I'll show you what we got going on. There it is. All right, so <clears throat> we're making charcoal today because I've gotten really tired of buying it at $10, $12, $14 a bag, and I use quite a bit of it between barbecuing and blacksmith work, so uh, today we're making some. This is the second time I've done it. Now, I got this idea from a, another video out there on YouTube. Uh, after watching several of them, his seemed the simplest. Didn't have to fabricate anything. Uh, just take a barrel, punch some holes in it, fill it with wood, and put it on top of a fire. That seems pretty darn simple. So I thought I'd give that a try. First time it worked out really good. Uh, I think I got about half the barrel at the end of the day of uh, usable material. Now, I might have burned up a little extra than I should have because I opened the barrel too soon. A couple hours after I took it off, I opened it up and it flared up inside. And I think I might have lost some material because of that. So one tip is never don't open that barrel too soon. Give it plenty of time for everything to cool down inside and be done cooking so that it's not going to flare up. It might be half a day or a day. Um, anyway, so let me take you here so I'll show you what we got going on. Um, fire, very simple. Barrel, pretty simple. I punched about 12 holes in the bottom of it, and I think I did uh, 3 16 holes in the bottom of it, just randomly placed around the bottom, uh, filled with wood, and you want to use smaller chunks of wood. One thing I learned again from the first time, don't use too big of chunks or else they will not charcoal up. You'll end up with uh, pieces of wood that are just still hard and can't break them up. Uh, so cut them up a little smaller. Um, I should have shown you this before I put it on the fire, but I didn't, so it is what it is. Anyways, um, the drum I got at a local feed store for $25. Here in coastal Florida, kind of hard to find 55-gallon uh, drums. There's not a lot of farms around, not that people who don't. There's not a lot of people around who would have them. Uh, but at a local feed store, I found one for $25, brand new, and so that worked well. So I'll bring it back uh, later. But I want to show you this before we go. Just thought of that. You see that wisp of smoke coming out the top of there? When that stops coming out the top, that's when you know you're cooked. Uh, last time I did this, it took about four and a half to five hours or so uh, for that to stop. So you expect yourself in for a long time, you know, between getting the fire started, throwing it on there, you know, preparing it first, throwing it on there, then letting it cook and taking it off. Give it a, you know, it's a full day and a half or two day process for it to be finally usable. Um, I've got it filled with pine cutoffs from uh, some lumber and some oak. Uh, because I'm using this for blacksmithing, not for cooking, the pine's okay. Uh, it should cook should burn hot should but it'll burn fast but anyways that's it for now we'll see you in a few okay it is day two um, and you can see the barrel is off of the fire uh, it took about mm, five hours five and five hours 15 minutes or so and uh, we pulled her off once that smoke stopped coming out of the top I laid it down on its side to cover the uh, the holes with the ground uh, rather than trying to plug them up with uh, clay when it was hot so we'll stand her up, we'll open her up, and we'll see what we got. Okay. We definitely got more charcoal this time than we did last time. We got about three quarters of the barrel. Um, I would say that's a, that's a good pile of charcoal right there. So, <clears throat> you can see... It just breaks up pretty easily. And it's charred all the way through. There's a bigger piece. That one uh, was pretty punky and dead when I put it in there, so I'm not surprised that that one turned out like that. Same with that. There you go. Now you want wood that's not too green, but obviously not as dead as some of those other pieces. This one here might have been just a little bit too green. But most of the stuff that I have in here is cutoffs from um, lumber. So that's gonna be better stuff. You see this one, 
a little bit big to break up in the hand, but it's charred all the way through, so I can break that up with a hammer, you know. So, anyways, um, pretty happy. So, if you're looking to make charcoal, this works.